we are going to continue our review of the gurus on youtube just like in the past episode in the last part uh, my criteria for selection of these gurus is uh, that they are providing their content for free absolutely free and they are somewhat useful for the seekers on the path of knowledge and they are easily available you can reach them although not all but uh, many of these gurus you can uh, contact and get your uh, questions answered or you can meet them so we went through a list of uh, gurus uh, who are well known who are mostly known by many people and they are on youtube but today i am going to give you a list of uh, gurus or teachers on youtube that are that satisfy our criteria uh, and they are not so well known they are gaining popularity very quickly although not many of uh, us know them so well so the first uh, teacher in my list is uh, pravajika divyananda parna now that is a very difficult name to pronounce but uh, her lectures are not difficult at all she speaks like a school teacher and uh, has that kind of uh, style of school teacher and uh, she makes these uh, vedic concepts uh, very very clear actually and very entertaining the next teacher is swamini vimlananda and she comes from the tradition of chinmayananda and you can guess now that her lectures are also as entertaining and um, revealing as those of swami chinmayananda and she makes them really entertaining and fun the next guru on the list is shinjin yang probably many of you must have heard him he belongs to the zen tradition and is probably a mathematician or a scientist who ventured into the path of zen buddhism and he has many many videos on his channel that are full of zen wisdom so unlike the other um, teachers i found that he is very clear he is very approachable and the zen delivered by shinjin yang is kind of for ordinary people there are no heavy words there you don't need to read any kind of scriptures those who have a extremely rational mind those who prefer logic are going to benefit highly from his talks although it's not totally total rational dry rationality he has a lot of wisdom and the next teacher on my list is a very young fellow called roger castillo and he is a disciple of ramesh balsekar so those who are interested in balsekar's philosophy will find roger like um, a wish come true because he explains the same concepts in a very simple way his lectures are to the point straightforward and have no kind of bells and whistles on them it is very very straightforward uh, and he has uh, long videos on the topics so you are not going to get the fluff you are going to get the details but i have seen that uh, there is a little bit lack of questions and answers uh, there is a um, little bit of monotonous uh, content in his videos so if you watch uh, let's say a dozen of his videos you will find the same topics same teachings they start repeating but overall i found him very very um, thought provoking and a good introduction to uh, balsekar's philosophy he holds online satsangs and you can approach him another student of uh, balsekar is gautam sachdev and he holds uh, satsangs in mumbai and mostly in english and there are some videos on his channel so like roger he is also very straightforward and has a very sweet 
style of delivering his lectures. So those who wish to have an insight into Balsekar's and Nisardit Maharaj's teachings on Advait will benefit by listening to both of these students of Ramesh Balsekar. The next teacher in my list is A. Ramana. A. Ramana shares the name Ramana with Raman Maharshi and he is a disciple of Raman Maharshi but I don't know anything about his lineage or who was his guru, whether he is a direct disciple of Raman Maharshi or not. I do not know but I found his videos very very interesting. They are short. They are mostly in format of a question and answer and he is very very clear. He will uh, deliver the wisdom of Raman Maharshi in simple to understand plain English. So highly recommended. It looks like that uh, they are old recordings but uh, they are worth watching actually. Bernardo Kastrup, he is a scholar, academic, philosopher, scientist and a very very brilliant uh, author. And although he is not really connected to Advait but he is surely on the path of knowledge and uh, he has totally demolished the materialistic scientific thinking that is so prevalent in the western philosophies. So if you think that uh, science is totally about materialism then Bernardo is going to prove you wrong. He has the arguments, he has the logic, he has the wisdom that totally demolishes the current paradigm he does touch upon non-dual stuff a little but not totally about non-dualism. Still very very entertaining and eye-opening lectures from Bernardo. The next teacher on my list is probably not a teacher but I don't really know. He is a direct disciple of Nisargadatta Maharaj and that is his main strength. Although I do not find his content so easy to grasp but he does go into the depths which no other student of Nisargadatta Maharaj has gone into. So those who are uh, like trying to do a research on Nisargadatta Maharaj will find uh, Stephen Wolinsky very useful. His uh, teachings are very very detailed so be prepared to spend some time there. Another good YouTube teacher in my opinion is Prabal. His uh, lectures are in uh, Hindi most of the time and he is uh, explaining the old Indian scriptures in a very easy to understand Hindi language. So those who want an introduction to uh, the old ancient Sanskrit scriptures, uh, they, may, they will find his channel called Darshanik Bharat very very useful actually. The next name in my list is Ira Sheptin. Probably I'm not pronouncing his name properly, but uh, he be clearly belongs to the Advait uh, tradition and uh, has very highly detailed videos that will take you into a journey into the world of Advait, non dualism. And he explains it very well indeed. Highly recommended. There is another name in my list. Uh, who is Swami Nitya Bodhananda. Now probably very few people know him but I found his videos very very enlightening. He, he, his style is that of a traditional Swami but uh, he speaks in very clear English to the point and very precise uh, way. Another young man on my list is Andre Vaz. He is probably a disciple of James Swarge. So his teaching style is similar to James. He has probably hundreds of videos on his channel and they are all in format of a classroom lecture. So he is not going to tell you about his experiences or uh, stories or random things. He is very very systematic and he explains the scriptures. So those who are looking for uh, 
an introduction to various scriptures and a systematic introduction to Advaita Vedanta in a very clear English and in a detailed manner. I recommend Andre Vaz to them. Another teacher who is a direct disciple of Ramesh Balsikar is Vaine Lickerman. He has posted a lot of his satsangs on his uh, YouTube channel and uh, they are very clear. The talks are very enlightening. Another teacher on my list is an unknown name but uh, the channel name is uh, Knowledge Way Mai. I, I don't know what uh, the name means and who is speaking there but uh, his lectures are full of wisdom. They drip with no ancient knowledge and uh, they are mostly about uh, Advait, Buddhism and Jainism. Traditional Indian style of satsang in pure Hindi. I recommend go and watch these lectures. They are very detailed. Neema Majumdar and she is uh, probably a disciple of uh, Swami Dayanand Saraswati and discusses various scriptures. Some of her videos are in French also, so those who are interested may take a look. Jignasu. I'm unaware of his real name, but uh, he has a very good collection of short videos on the path of knowledge. He has a science background, most probably, and this shines through his very clear speech. So those who are interested in uh, knowing the path of knowledge or Advait in very simple, plain English, Jignasu's channel is highly recommended. Another name who is not so less known is Anantri. Anantri delivers uh, his uh, knowledge through uh, many hundreds of short videos that are mostly in the form of uh, questions and answers and uh, on one topic at a time and his videos are in Hindi also. I don't think they are, there are any in English. Sometimes there are a few videos that are in English but uh, most of them are in very simple, easy to understand Hindi. He does not go into the details of scriptures and he does not do that kind of traditional classroom teachings or satsangs but uh, he provides uh, answers to all the uh, general questions that most of the seekers ask and he is not actually restricted to Advait but leans towards the non-dualism a little bit. So highly entertaining, highly intelligent talks by Anand Shri, very much recommended. And here is another uh, teacher who is not really on the path of Advait but uh, on the path of Kriya Yoga. His name is Forrest Nutson. Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. But uh, he has uh, many, a number of short videos related to the path of Kriya Yoga. Although you are not go going to become a Kriya master by listening to the videos only, but if you are doing the Kriya practices, then this uh, his YouTube channel is a gem for you, will be really helpful for uh, those who are practicing the Kriya Yoga and is also very helpful for uh, those who are on the path of knowledge. If you wish to know a uh, few things about uh, the subtle energies or the chakras or the practices that are being followed in this path. There are some more channels that are worth mentioning but uh, I have not listened to them uh, in detail. I am doing so but I found that um, they are also producing uh, very high quality content and uh, one of such name is Michael Jeffries who has talks on Advait and all. There is very good channel called Chaitanya Darshan also. Most of it, uh, most of the videos are in Hindi there. And uh, there is a channel called Sanatan Pragya with uh, a lot of good content on spirituality and non-dualism in general. And uh, there is another channel which I recently came to know is of Ras Ra. So he is also distributing his videos for free. All these videos, all these teachers are doing a great job actually. 
And I am happy to see so much knowledge being broadcasted on YouTube. It is available to all of us seekers. And I am actually benefiting a lot by watching these videos. So I thank you all for listening to this review. Although it was very short to the point. You will find the links to all these uh, channels, all these gurus in the description. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.